Did you know that text messages concerning district business are public records? If you use a district or personal device to send or receive text messages for work, you need to understand your responsibilities, especially when text messaging with students. Superintendent Procedure 4070SP, Electronic Records Management, outlines what you need to know. You create a public record when you use text messages to conduct district business. This means the device is discoverable and, if needed, the messages would have to be available for district review. It is important to follow these best practices. Only use texting for transitory, informal communication for district business, which does not need to be retained. Use Skype for business or other district-provided messaging software wherever possible. Employees using text messages for district business, which are not sent via Skype, are responsible for preserving and managing such messages. If requested through the Public Records Act, employees may be asked to provide business-related text messages or sign an affidavit to certify they do not possess business-related text messages. Incidental, defined as less than 5%, personal use of a district cell phone is allowed. Use of a personal cell phone to conduct district business may subject everything held on the device to disclosure pursuant to a request under the Public Records Act or subpoena. The best way to send work-related text messages to colleagues and students is to use the free Skype for Business app. This app lets you connect through instant messaging from your device and desktop. Your phone number and the number you are messaging are not visible to you or the recipient. However, should the need arise, the content of the message will be available for public record and district review. Take extra precautions when communicating via text with students. Be sure to utilize the Skype for Business app whenever sending or receiving text messages with students. If you have a phone which does not support the Skype for Business app, an example would be an older flip phone, Include your full district email as a contact in the To field of your text message. The text will be sent to your Outlook email inbox for retention. To start using Skype for Business on your device, follow these steps. If you do not already have Skype for Business on your device, you can download it from the App Store, just like any other app. Make sure you download Skype for Business, not just Skype. Skype for Business uses a district login and should be used only for district business. Skype is for your personal use. After it is installed, click on the icon to launch the app and log in with your full SPS email and password. Once you are logged in, you can search the SPS directory, see any favorited contacts, past conversations, and also see upcoming meetings from your Outlook calendar. To change your status, Click on your user image in the upper left. To view your calendar, click on the calendar icon in the top right. To start messaging, use the Search for Contacts field, select a contact, then select the chat icon. Type your message, then select the paper airplane icon to send. The contact will receive the message when logged in on their device or computer. Currently, the Skype for Business app does not have the ability to send photos. If your image is on the web, you can copy and paste the URL into the message. Note that all of your Skype messages will be saved in the conversation folder under your Outlook inbox for 30 days. These messages are discoverable and your use of Skype for Business should abide by the district's network use agreement. Questions? Contact District Archives and Records for assistance. 206-252-0796 or archives at seattleschools.org.